Taiwan is on track to surpass South Korea and claim the title of the country with the world's lowest fertility rate by 2035, according to a report by the National Development Council. Amid this decline in birth rates, the rental housing market around universities has not been immune to the impact. Based on the latest statistics, Chinese Culture University, Shijian University, and Zhonghua University are all experiencing a vacancy rate of over 50% for their allotted enrollment slots. Take Chinese Culture University as an example. Out of the allocated 2,276 enrollment slots, only 934 students have been admitted. With fewer students, securing dormitory accommodations has become easier. However, landlords near Chinese Culture University have noted a challenge of renting out properties. In the past, it was easy to rent out. Even in the middle of the night, people would knock on your door, telling you they wanted to rent a place because they were concerned their children wouldn't have a place to live. But now things have changed. Currently, there are over 10 rooms just sitting there, ready to be rented out. Confronting the declining demand in the rental market, many landlords are choosing to slash their prices, reducing rates by around 10,000 NT dollars annually to attract more tenants. However, not all landlords are taking this route. A real estate expert highlights that some property owners will tough it out until September, coinciding with the start of the new semester. This could potentially result in an even more noticeable vacancy rate. With fewer students around, you'll notice a direct impact on the nearby rental market including student apartments and the so-called student hub. The decline in birth rates has certainly affected the rental housing market. As a result, landlords in Taiwan are actively seeking fresh tenant sources and making greater use of government support to minimize losses. Yunping Jie, Xu Kunshan, Huang Qihou, TVBS World Taiwan.